have you ever reflected on the profound words of Moses, a man of color, speaking to his fellow men and women of color, the children of Israel, in the wilderness? Taking a journey through Deuteronomy offers an intriguing exploration of this historical narrative where promises of blessings and warnings of curses are deeply intertwined. In the wilderness, on the side of Jordan, Moses, a black man, addressed the children of Israel, also black men and women. His opening words encapsulate the essence of their journey and faith. They set the stage for the compelling dialogue that unfolds in the chapters that follow, resonating with profound significance. The words as recorded in Deuteronomy 1.1, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan in the wilderness, serves as a dramatic introduction to this conversation, embodying the testament to their journey and faith. Incorporating Deuteronomy 1.1 into the outline of this narrative not only adds historical context, but also provides a fascinating insight into the deep faith and determination determination of the children of Israel led by Moses. The first chapter of Deuteronomy thus serves as an insightful preamble to this enlightening discourse. Moving forward, in Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 to 14, a promise is made. A promise that if the children of Israel hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, observing and doing all his commandments, the Lord will set them high above all nations of the earth. A promise of prosperity, a promise of blessings, a promise of divine favor. However, this promise comes with a caveat. In verse 15 of the same chapter, a warning is issued. A warning that if they do not listen to the voice of the Lord, if they do not observe and do all His commandments and statutes, curses will come upon them and overtake them. A stern reminder that obedience breeds blessings while disobedience breeds curses. Let us delve into verse 68 of Deuteronomy 28, which contains a prophecy. The prophecy states, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and man shall buy you. It's a forewarning that they will return to Egypt, a sight that was said they would never witness again. There they will be sold to their enemies, forced into the roles of bondmen and bondwomen, with none willing to buy them. A chilling prophecy intertwined with the harsh reality of slavery, serving as a stark warning to the children of Israel. In summary, Deuteronomy presents a captivating narrative of promises and warnings, blessings and curses. It paints a vivid picture of Moses, a black man, speaking to his fellow black men and women, the children of Israel, in the wilderness. It highlights the importance of obedience to divine commands and the consequences of disobedience, and ultimately, it serves as a reminder of the inherent power of words and their ability to shape the course of history. Thank you for joining this journey through Deuteronomy. My name is Tavares Hobbs. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content.